Hey there, so fans. John Matrix here. Today with a review of the KWA M9 PTP. And uh, as most of the KWA pistols are, they're engineered for 0.25 gram BBs. Um, you get a nice silver box like this. You get a uh, instruction manual. Uh, written in English and uh, get a warranty card you can register online or use a warranty card I register online usually you get a KWA sticker okay manual has all sorts of uh, information about your M9 okay um, you'll get a genuine KWA blue label so that you can be assured that uh, the KWA you've just purchased is not a clone. You get uh, one magazine uh, made in Taiwan. When you first get these um, your best bet is to go ahead and lube the fill valve and set it aside that way um, you're uh, looping up uh, a mag that may have been in storage for a little while and uh, might be really dry so before you fill it with gas you best uh, lube it up and just put it to the side for like an hour uh, that way you're less likely to have any type of leaks comes with a hop up adjustment tool this uh, allows you to adjust your hop up comes with a bag of 0.25 gram BBs which you can use comes with a bottle of silicone oil to clean your gun and finally your pistol now yes when you first get your gun you should probably lube it take it apart lube the rails lube everything before you shoot it always good practice to do that okay this says KWA M9 PTP with a serial number and it says caliber 6 millimeter um, Comes with a fine textured grip. This gun is full metal. On the opposite side, it says uh, professional training pistol. And with the safety on, it will not shoot. An M9 is a double action gun. So basically, that means that once you put it it on off safety whether this is cocked back or not it's ready to shoot and if you cock it back the hammer stays cocked back um, and this gun features a very nice realistic feature of a decocker once this is pulled back and you've shot and you want it just to put it back on safety put it back on safety and it decocks the gun and it's now safe again um, this gun, this gun is my favorite gun out of all the ones I've had at least so far. This gun is my second M9. Now you say, gosh, John, why'd you get a second one? Uh, did your first one break? No, my first one did not break. My first one I've hardly ever touched because my 10 year old won't let go of it. So he like myself loved this gun so I ended up buying another one for myself so I can use it while we're playing instead of always lending it to him um, this shoots very straight very far um, this fits just right in my hand it's got a really nice weight to it um, put the mag in with the mag in, this is like uh, this is like a real gun. This weighs just like a real gun. Um, let me show you. Um, take your safety off. Slide it back, and right in there, you should be able to see the edge of the barrel there, and that's where the hop-up adjustment tool goes up against. Let me see if I can do this here with the camera with uh, two hands. Basically. Uh, 
you put this in there and then you rotate counterclockwise to give it hop up and clockwise to decrease hop up I'm not going to do it now because I, I got it set just right um, this hop up unit works really well and a small adjustment does a big effect even on 0.25 gram BBs um, this actually works like a real Beretta uh, in the sense of you can load your mag and cock it back release the slide now you've got a BB in, in the chamber you can remove the mag fill it up and you've got BB in the chamber this full and whether you pull the slide back or not it's going to start shooting one thing I have noticed if I don't preload the chamber let's say I just fill the mag up put it in and take it off safety if I don't pull back the slide the first shot I shoot will not shoot anything the slide will come back it'll look like it's it's shooting but basically all I just did was chamber the first gun with gas instead of manually uh, the real gun doesn't do that obviously but uh, that's just one little quirk that I, that I uh, run into when uh, playing around with this so you can take advantage of the chamber by chambering it back first and then reloading then you won't have to pull it back to, to activate it and got some gas left in it you see how quick very quick cycle rate it has um, um, very fast very fast and like I said it shoots really well and now boom decock see it shoots really well it shoots straight uh, for a handgun uh, this is my second KWA my other KWA is 1911 they both they both shoot straight and far far for a handgun okay um, so this one's uh, this one's 150 retail or you know uh, pretty much any place you look it up it's 150 this if you want an, if you want an M9 just save up and get this one I mean you will not be disappointed you will not be disappointed this feels great this shoots great um, you won't you won't be disappointed like I said um, this one doesn't have a tactical rail but that's fine I like I like that cleaner look on, on an M9 and it does have a loop for a lanyard hook which is good and yes there is a safety on both sides alright so that's all for now until next time